Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alan and welcome back to the Mr. Z's Music Lessons YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing an acoustic guitar tutorial over Sea of Victory by Elevation Worship. Be sure to check down in the description. Down there I have a link to a free chord chart you guys can follow along with. And then uh, also I made a cover video of me playing and singing through this whole song. So I'll link that down in the description and also up at the top of the screen. So after you finish this video, you know, if you still need some more help, I would just go watch that video and that should help you kind of see like how to put all the parts together. Um, so just to kind of get you guys started off here, we're going to need a capo on the third fret. If you need a capo and you aren't sure what kind to get, um, I have one linked in the description. Just basically it's the kind that I like to use, so you can check that out. And uh, we're in the key of B flat, and we'll need five chords. Our five chords are E minor 7, C add 9, uh, G, G over B, and D. So if you already know those, feel free to jump ahead to the timestamp on the screen. If you don't know them, uh, stick around and uh, we'll go over how to play each one of those. So we're going to start off with our E minor 7 chord. For this, we'll put our first finger on the second fret of the A string, our second finger on the second fret of the D string, our third finger on the third fret of the B string, and then the pinky on the third fret of the E string. We're going to strum all the strings. Then for C add 9, we'll leave these two fingers here. Then we'll put our first finger on the second fret of the A string, then our um, second finger on the third fret of the A string. I think I said that wrong, but uh, first finger on the second fret of the D string, and then our second finger on the third fret of the A string. And with this first finger on the D string, we're not really going to push down. I'm just going to mute that string. That way it doesn't ring out. I just like the way that chord sounds better without that note in there. But you could push it down if you want to. Then for our G chord, again, we'll just leave these two here, and then we'll put our um, second finger on the third fret of the E string. Then again, I'm just going to mute the uh, second fret of the A string instead of pushing down there. Then for our G over B, again, I'll still leave these two fingers here, that third and fourth finger. Then I'll put my first finger on the second fret of the A string. I'll strum from the A string down. And then our last chord, D, um, we'll put our first finger on the second fret of the G string. Then our second finger on the second fret of the E string, and then our third finger on the third fret of the D string. We'll strum from the D string down. Those are all the chords you need. Hopefully I didn't mess that up too much. Um, saying the fret and finger numbers is always difficult for me on video for some reason, but uh, hopefully that gets you started with those. And that's it for the chords. Then we'll go over the intro, and I'll just kind of tell you guys what chords to play, and then I'll also give just kind of a suggested strumming pattern. There's a lot of different strumming patterns you could do, um, but I'm going to teach you one that is pretty close to what they're doing on the recording. So we'll start off with our E minor 7 chord, and our strumming pattern will go down, up, down, 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 up. So again, that sounds like this. Down, up, down, 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 up. And then we'll go to C add 9, same strumming pattern. Down, up, down, down. And for G, we'll do that strumming pattern twice. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. And we'll do that same progression two times. So the way it sounds a little bit faster is like this. And that's it for the intro. Then on verse 1, we'll do the exact same chord progression and strumming pattern there. So again, that was E minor 7. We'll go down, up, down, 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 up. And then C add 9, same strumming. Down, up, down, 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 up. And G, same thing twice. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So I'm going to go ahead and try playing and singing through verse 1 just so you can hear what that sounds like one time. And then verse 2, we will do the exact same uh, strumming pattern and chord progression. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper When the darkness falls, it won't prevail Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph My God will And 
that's it for verse 1. And that brings us to the chorus, and this part is really straightforward. Basically, it's the same pattern that we did on that G chord during our intro and verse, where it was um, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So it's one whole measure, and um, we'll do one measure for each chord. So it'll be E minor 7 for a measure, C at 9 for one measure, G for one measure, and then D for one measure, keeping that same strumming pattern. So I'm just going to play and sing through this part for you guys, and that should help, I hope. <laughs> so here's what it sounds like. I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord So that's it for uh, like the first chorus. And then the second chorus is basically the same thing, just it's going to repeat it one more time. Uh, chorus 3 is going to be a little bit different, so we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Then for the instrumental, right after that first chorus, it's just going to be uh, be the same thing as our intro, so I, I guess I should have just said that at, during the intro, but anyways, I'll go ahead and play it for you once. So it's that E minor 7, still the same strumming pattern. C add 9, back to G. Same thing again. So that's what the instrumental sounds like. Then we'll go over the interlude, and this part's going to have a pretty different strumming pattern and uh, just sort of like different order for the chords. So we're going to start off on our C add 9, and we'll strum... Um, <laughs> let me just play it for you once, and then we'll talk about the strumming pattern. So it sounds like this. that strumming pattern a little bit slower on our C add 9 we'll strum down 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 up down up down up and then we'll go to E minor 7 down down up so the rhythm of that is like 1 2 and a 3 e and a 4 and a. then we'll go to D we'll do basically the same thing 1 2 and a 3 e and a 4 and a. or from like that D basically the the strumming directions we have down down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Then we'll go to C again. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Then D for one full measure. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So one more time with the counting in there, starting on our C add nine. One, two, and a three, and a four, and a one. Two, and a three, and a four. So that's our interlude progression, and then also for bridge one, we're just going to keep doing that exact same thing, uh, just basically repeating it all the way through bridge one. Then for chorus three, the song gets really kind of quiet here, so we're going to thin out our strumming a lot and just kind of mellow out. Um, so here we're going to strum whole notes. Um, so the first time through the chorus, we'll strum whole notes, and then through the next half of it, we will strum eighth notes, just strumming down. And after that, we'll go back to our normal strumming pattern like we did on the other choruses. So I think I'll just uh, play and sing through this once, and uh, I think that should be enough to get you guys going on this. This part is not too hard. Here we go. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory it for chorus three. 
Then for bridge two, it's going to be really similar to bridge one. Um, just we're going to add some eighth notes. And then instead of doing a G over B chord, we will do E minor to basically replace that. So we'll start on C add nine. And our strumming is going to go down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. And then we'll go to E minor seven and go down, down, up. And we'll go to D. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. E minor seven. Down, down, up. C add nine. Down, down. faster that sounds like this. Okay, and then uh, with the singing, here's what it's going to sound like. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good same thing for the outro just keep that same thing going song on our C add nine. Okay guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. I pray that this video really helps you learn the song, um, whether you're preparing this song for church or some other event. I um, really hope that it helps you out. Let me know down in the comments why you're learning this song. And uh, this song has just really awesome lyrics, so just whatever you have going on in your life, I just pray this song is a, a blessing to you. Um, if you enjoyed the video, you can hit the like button and uh, also subscribe if you want to see more tutorials just like this one. And uh, also hit the notification bell if you want to uh, be sure you don't miss any videos. And I just have to thank you guys so much uh, just for making this whole channel possible. I basically started this out just as a hobby, and it's kind of turned into basically a, a part-time job, and it is the most fun part-time job I've ever had. So, uh, yeah, I just can't thank you guys enough. It's just been awesome. Um, also, I started a second channel, and uh, it's just a piano channel, and basically it's just videos of me playing film music, uh, video game music, some a little bit of popular music. I'm thinking I'll get into that eventually, and then uh, classical music. So if that's something you're into, feel free to check that out. I'll list it down in the description for you guys. Um, so I think that'll wrap it up for today's video. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out. I'll see you guys in the next one.